Welcome to Dad's Divorce Live. I'm Matt Allen, editor of dadsdivorce.com. Our guest today is Dr. Judy Rabinor, a clinical psychologist and author who has more than three decades of experience working with couples and families. She recently published a book called Befriending Your Ex After Divorce, Making Life Better for You, Your Kids, and Yes, Your Ex. This book is aimed at divorcing parents and serves as a guide to co-parenting and maintaining a healthy relationship with your ex following a divorce. So Judy, thank you very much for joining me today. And thank you so much for having me. I've been looking forward to this show. So what did you use from your experience as a psychologist to write this book? Well, I used, from, I used both my personal experience as well as my experience as a psychologist. On the personal side, I am divorced. And my ex-husband and I actually became very good friends after we were divorced. We... I really wanted people to know that collaborative parenting can work. It can enrich not only the lives of your children, because it's good for children to know that their parents both still hold them so dear in their heart and that the parents will cooperate and communicate and do all the things that divorcing parents are supposed to do. But in the end, I wound up with a very good friend myself. You want me to give you an example? Sure. Sure. Well... A late, you know, in the beginning when we got divorced, we were not really very friendly. We did what was right for our children, but we weren't feeling very friendly towards one another. But things just came up where, honestly, the two of us were at school conferences, and we had to put our heads together to decide what was in the best interest of our children. And what I really learned in little ways was that he was really my ally. You know, couples have to rebuild trust after they get divorced because getting divorced is really about saying, I'm done with you. You know, it didn't work out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And befriending your ex is about creating a brand new relationship. What I was give you at the end was that my mother was very sick and it was my ex-husband who came with me to a lawyer to try to arrange all of her papers and all the finances and make sure she had the kind of financial backing and the care that she needed because he was really a person who understood a whole lot about money. By the time this happened, I was remarried and I was remarried to my current husband who's a psychologist and a pianist. And it was really helpful to have a businessman, financial guy in there with me and the lawyers figuring out what to do next. Mm -hmm. I mean, so that's like a really good example of, you know, how he was there for me, and he would say that I had been there for him in all sorts of ways. Right. Yeah. So it seems that it seems most people would recognize that you know the, the benefits of co-parenting after divorce for your children. But why why do so many people have trouble co-parenting after a divorce? That is the sixty four thousand dollar question. <laughs> One thing I would say is that we live in a culture that validates exes being mean and nasty to each other. Just think about what you read about in the newspapers about celebrities getting divorced. Usually you're not reading that they have great communal Thanksgivings together. Usually you're reading one person's taking the next one to court. Somebody kidnapped the kids and took them somewhere, right? Right. And this gets a lot of attention. And it, in a way, it almost validates that when you get divorced, you should try to get everything you can get out of this person. You should get as much, much money as you can. You should, take, you should get the kids as much as you want. And I'm really part of like a group who's trying to create a new consciousness where people realize that divorce, it's not divorce that's harmful. It's when parents don't get along and when parents put their own needs ahead of the needs of their children. Right. Now, your book is filled with practical exercises for couples to practice throughout and even after the divorce process. So maybe let's give our viewers a, a bit of a sneak peek. If you were to tell them or to have them take away one exercise that you would feel is the most vital, what would that be? Well, my favorite exercise, and this helps everybody in every relationship, it's not just thinking about, but let's first start it with the person you're divorced from. But since there might be people listening to this who are not divorced, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So think about somebody that you love or loved and think about something they've done that has really hurt you, really wounded you, really irritated you, really angered you. 
okay, and blow that picture up in your mind and see them doing this thing, saying the words they said, see yourself feeling hurt. And now take a snapshot of that moment. And now transport yourself to a stream and just imagine it's any season that you love best, autumn, spring, summer, maybe winter. And imagine that you're sitting on the side of a stream and there are leaves coming down. And now take that snapshot and put it on a leaf. Put that ugly incident on a leaf. And watch that leaf gently, slowly flow down the stream. And as you see it going down the stream, disappearing around a turn in the bend, just notice what it's like inside to let go to let go of all the hurt that you feel to all of the hurt see what happens if you remind yourself I don't have to keep reliving this scene over and over again mm -hmm. and when you're done you might want to just notice what it's like to be free from having this angry image right in the front of your mind right right well, thanks for sharing uh, that pra practical exercise. Um, the book's filled with much more. So where can viewers uh, go to purchase your book? Viewers can get the book either on my website, which is www.judithruskayrabinorphd.com, or they can just put the name, they can click go to Barnes & Noble or Amazon, and the name of the book is Befriending Your Ex After Divorce. Making life better for you, your kids, and yes, your ex. Well, Judy, thank you very much. Best of luck with the book, and we appreciate your, your work in this issue of, of maintaining this uh, civil and even friendly relationship with your ex after a divorce. Great. It's great being on the show, and uh, look forward to coming on another time. Absolutely. That was Dr. Judy Rabinor, clinical psychologist and author of the book she mentioned, Befriending Your Ex After Divorce, Making Life Better for You, Your Kids, and Yes, Your Ex. I'm Matt Allen, editor of DadsDivorce.com, and that'll do it for this edition of Dad's Divorce Live. <laughs>